What's going on everyone? My name's Larry Snow and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at LinkedIn privacy and security settings. Yes, LinkedIn actually does have that and it's readily available unlike its counterpart Facebook where you kind of have to dig a little bit. So that's what's going on in today's video. Let's get started. <laughs> So I'm over here on my LinkedIn profile. How to get to privacy and security settings in LinkedIn. You hover over your little uh, icon of your profile picture where it says me. I'm on the desktop, obviously. It might be a little different on the mobile. Click the little down arrow. Click on settings and privacy. You'll be shown this page. And in this page, we have three buckets with lots of choices. I'm only gonna go over just a few of these so that you get the idea. I'm just gonna highlight a couple of ones that you should really take a look at. All right, first up, we have account. Now, these are just uh, the basics, as it says here. You can uh, change your email address. You can change your phone number, change your password, change your language. I wanna go down here to feed preferences. Yes, you can actually change your feed in LinkedIn, similar to what you can do in Facebook. So let's take a look at that. We can click change. And it'll give you a, a list of things that they think that you're interested in. So you can go marketing, media, communications, product design, software, probably along the line somewhere, I clicked off on all those to see those in Pulse. LinkedIn Pulse, which is their publishing platform. And so LinkedIn has transferred that over here and said, hey, these are the things you're going to be interested in. And here uh, is a select group of influencers that we think that you should be following. And you can go through these and pick and choose which ones you'd like to uh, add uh, be follow. And it is quite lengthy. Uh, it, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And you can also search, right? You can search for people. Uh, let's search for WordPress. Okay, I'm gonna go to people. And if you don't wanna connect with that person, you if you look at their profile, I, I don't even know who these people are. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click on that guy. So we're looking at Joe Marshall. I don't know him from Adam. I know he's connected to Rich Brooks, who I'm very fond of, great guy. And if I don't wanna connect with him, I can go over here to these three dots, also called an ellipsis, to be technical. And you can click on follow. All right, I'll click on follow and you are now following this person. So I will see in my newsfeed things that Joe Marshall posts. And so it's the same way. So let's go back to LinkedIn, to our predefined influencers. And we've talked about, we can follow fresh perspectives as LinkedIn calls it. And we can go down here and da, da 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 and then we can go check out who we are actually following at this given moment. And if we want to, we can unfollow these people so anything that they post does not show up in the news feed. And I think I'm going to keep everyone for now and I'm just going to click done. So the feed preferences is a big thing I wanted you guys to know about. The other thing I think you should take a look at is permitted services. What apps are connected to your LinkedIn account, such as um, Twitter, for one, is connected to your LinkedIn account if you've connected uh, Twitter and LinkedIn so you can kind of cross post a little bit. Uh, you can connect um, any social profiles, uh, social uh, platforms like Buffer, um, eClincher, Hootsuite, all those guys will be connected as a permitted service. You have to say, please allow this app to connect to my LinkedIn profile for whatever reason. So you can go in here and you could, so here's Hootsuite, Buffer, I have the developer access to uh, LinkedIn, there's eClincher, Linda and SlideShare are uh, owned by uh, their product of LinkedIn, so you can also remove those too. Uh, Stripe 
uh, Triber, Upwork. So you can go in here and say, okay, I don't want this to be, uh, I don't use that anymore. I Like I had to remove co-schedule when I first looked in here because I don't use co-schedule anymore. So that type of thing. So that's a good thing to be aware of. So these folks aren't uh, still getting access to your profile. And then if you'd like to close your account or merge an account. So that is accounts. Now we're gonna go over to privacy. In privacy, there's this is about who can see your stuff, right? And so uh, if you want, who can see your connections? If you don't want anyone to see your connections, you could just turn that off. Uh, profile viewing options is another one you might wanna look at. So let's say you wanna look at other people's LinkedIn profiles, but you don't wanna say it's you. You can go in here and say, uh, I just wanna be an anonymous LinkedIn member or someone with this background or actually yourself. So that's something to know about. So the big section I think under privacy uh, is the blocking and hiding. So the blocking is uh, just that. You can block individuals uh, if you don't wanna see them or if you don't want them to connect with you at all in any way, whether it's messaging or any other type of contact. So you can block people. Uh, you can see who you've unfollowed. I won't click on that because <laughs> I have unfollowed some people. And you can choose whether or not you want people to follow you outside of your network. So outside of your connections, if you want people to just, you know, click follow like I did with that guy, Joe Marshall. You know, you could have that option to say, I don't want anyone following me if they're not connected with me. All right. And the other big thing here is the data privacy and advertising. So the, the big thing here, I think, is advertising preferences. You can go in here and you can say, uh, LinkedIn may serve interest-based advertising through its platform for third parties. You can opt out of this if you'd like. And the other big thing here is security. I don't know why they put it under privacy, but it should have been under account, I think, because this is a major thing, right? You have to, have to put on security two-factor authentication. It is a mandatory thing, folks. Mandatory. I know it can be sometimes of a pain in the butt, but you gotta do it. Especially in this climate of hacking. Social engineering, um, people taking over your account, whatever. Two-step verification is at the very simplest form a good security method to employ. All right, off my soapbox. Get it done, people. All right, and now the last tab that they have is communications, and basically that's who you want to hear from, right? So if you want to hear from LinkedIn, the frequency of hearing from LinkedIn, and I mean hearing, which is an email that you want to get from LinkedIn, and uh, invitations from groups, and that type of thing. Really not not anything earth shattering here. Uh, let's just take a quick look at email frequency. So you can go in here. This is a long list of things uh, that you can get invitations, messages, notifications, all that type of thing. I have yet to delve into any of this because uh, each one is a separate bucket. So you go into the details and whether or not you want invitations on this particular thing, join groups, accept invitations, uh, whether you want to get these types of messages or notifications, network updates, that type of thing. So uh, feel free to go in here and edit it. I think the only thing I turned off was messages from LinkedIn because they were just so annoying. They, they were uh, redundant in some cases, so I just said, nope, nope, don't want to get them. So that's it for me, folks. Let me just go back to all settings. So thanks so much for watching. That's a wrap for this video. I appreciate you all. Uh, thank you so much for the subscribes, the likes, the comments. Uh, really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, make sure you click the subscribe button. Uh, be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed watching it. For more information on social media and WordPress web design, check out LarrySnow.me. And I'll see you in the next video.